Hey everyone, so I just did a window dragging test and well, it's not the fastest that I've seen it. So I'm going to do a little bit of a scientific investigation to see the best way forward. So I could, instead of styling these using um, gradients and whatnot and the 3D effects like I have been doing, I could use just a simple fill and see what happens. Um, and I'm going to fill it with an image of the gradients instead, see if that renders quicker. Um, I'm going to do the, those same things, but then I'm going to refresh the slide in a different way. Instead of updating a text frame like I usually would, I would actually literally go to the same slide and keep repeating go to the, the current slide. Um, and sometimes that renders faster depending on the machine, but I'll see if it works in this scenario. So now we're going to test it with no effects at all as a control test. Oh, okay. So that's that's much smoother. It's still not perfect, but it's much, much smoother. So I think that is a problem, the effect. So now I'm going to try and remedy it by filling all the gradients with actual images instead. But yeah, the conversion did go absolutely wrong, but that's beside the point. Okay, that works much better. Although I am sacrificing a lot using that method and I don't like it. So I'm going to try and see if I can do something else. I'm going to go to the render function uh, subroutine and change it to active presentation dot slideshow window dot view dot go to slide. Um, and that would be data dot desktop slide. Right. Let's see if this makes any effect on Oh, okay. I'm not sure if that's better or worse. I'm in the same take. I need to stop the loop. I'm going to also switch these around and see if it makes a difference. Just to be sure. And I don't see much difference really. They both both methods seem to do the same thing. I'm not really sure. This time, I'm actually thankful for OBS um, for playing up. And the reason why is because I can actually see the difference on the toll it had on OBS when it was recording because it's more exaggerated. And I found out that refreshing the slide using the text is worse than refreshing the slide by going to the same slide. Um, it has a greater toll on OBS when it's recording. Now, this may not be the same for other machines, so I need to... Um, Ha test it with a few other people. So, conclusion, the only changes I'm going to make to the, to the system is going to be refreshing the slide using go to slide um, method, but I'm not going to replace everything with images. Uh, the reason I'm going to do I'm going to uh, not do that is because later on I can implement a system uh, by using images. So I can just apply the images theme later on in the project and see if that improves things, if things get bad. Um, but if I do images from now on, then I, it'd be really hard to reverse those changes. So I hope you enjoyed my little thought process here and I'll catch you in the next video.